Crypts, you're first. What the hell? Nobody saw that one coming. Is my audio good? I don't know. Oh, it's crispy. Oh, it's so crispy. Holy shit. This has never happened before. It's so cr- Do I need to turn up my volume? I turned it down. I figured this would be loud. I should wait for more people. I haven't done this in a while. I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous. The fuck? I shouldn't be nervous. I've done this enough. I just got my recap. Apparently I've done 140 of these bitches. But I'm nervous. Because it's been a while. So I just... I don't know. Like... Audio's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did I turn myself up? Loco is finally back! Hello, everyone. Hello. I've been sick for so long. I'm still sick, by the way. I'm still somewhat sick. <laughs> Fuck's sake. The, the flu fucking killed me. Holy shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's audio quality good. Do I need to turn up the volume? I've asked a few times now, now but... I just make sure. Do I turn up, or do we... Are we good? Oh, shit. Because I can just move closer. It's fine? Okay. Cause I can just like move closer, you know? I gotta upgrade. Right, so, instead of me being able to audio equals good, hell yeah, cause I can now like lean back and I can bring you guys with me. Hear that? Hear that? No audio drop. You guys are with me now, wherever I go. It's so much better. Cause it came with a whole like arm and pop filter and like a, like a, I can hit the mic and you probably won't hear it. Whoa, no way. I know, right? I can, like, move or lean forward, lean back. <laughs> You'll get sick of us soon. I hope not. But yeah, I can... Uh, this is going to be so much better for me. Because an uh, issue I always had was that my back would always be in so much fucking pain afterwards. Because I had to lean forward. That issue's fixed now. Does the control just work, by the way? It does. Does it just work? Let's press accept. Close that. Stop being dry? Well, my drinks are hot. I got spaghetti. Let's go. Nice. I took a little sip for that crypt. Drinks very hot. Yeah, it just works. Nice. Alright, how's the game audio? Is the game audio good? More shitty ass chicken. Let's go. W's. Okay, so game audio is good for a good start. I assume so. With that, I think we just get into it then. Oh man. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm very excited to keep playing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, yeah, we hang with Ark and she. I can kind of saw us. So, that was scary. It's after midnight. There's a single light on inside the mansion. I just killed the grand... You just killed the grand assassin of LB7? That must have been a bitch. Instead of entering through the front door, I slip around to the rear entrance in the west wing and make my way inside. It's the same door I used when I left, and fortunately, it's still unlocked. The Grand Caster Archer. Oh, the Grand Stage. Oh. I crept my way inside softly. 
carefully not to wake Hisui or Kohaku-san, whose rooms are in the west wing. Fix my uh There we go, perfect. Take a deep breath and plop down onto the bed. I must be exhausted after all that walking. Cause I merely collapsed as though the bed itself is sucking me in. Hey yo. A well for archer skills are grinding. Ooh. Oh yeah, I need to finish the um the event. I haven't, I haven't finished it yet. I'm being lazy, I know. I haven't finished it yet. I'm in a problem with Zalkweed. By some twist of fate, it seems to have once again gotten myself involved in some kind of mess. Exactly. Which one of my volume? Thank you. Pardon me. Gya. Yeah, it turns out I have a lot of Gya anime. I was looking through my, um, well, me, Ana, and Chris, we're looking through my watch list to actually, like, sort it out. And actually make me watch some anime, because that's the one thing I'm bad at. I love anime, but I'm so bad at fucking watching it. I found one, and it turns out like 90% of the stuff I have is Giat. So, you know. I better just better just get to watch them. Yeah, if, I, I, got, I got one, I got one, I got one now. And I'll probably watch it after the stream. In, like an episode or two. I mean, I'll probably watch more depending on how much I like it. Or maybe, I didn't want to leave that miraculously beautiful, yet human being alone. Oh, ah! oh my god! Thank you so much for this tier one crypt. That means so much. Oh, what a what a welcome back gift for being gone for a week. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to all of you. Cause like, on this Sunday, it's only a week away. Merry Christmas to everyone, and have a, have a happy good. Have a happy new year. Merry Christmas, man. What a welcome back gift. Thank you so much. Oh, man. You guys don't make me tarry out of my first stream back. Could you not do that? I already saw some of you, some of you posted your, um, or told me about your, um, replays. And the fact I showed up at all means a lot. Welcome back. Actually, something funny happened. When I was going to get... My, when I actually was going to pick up my microphone. Uh, when I was on the bus. I don't know what happened, but I suddenly just felt some sharp pain. Some sharp pain. A quote-unquote fleeting headache. Actually, like, on my temple. So I'm like, yo, shiki moment? I was thinking, like, uh, oh, yo, hold on, shiki moment? I'm a founder. See, so, yeah, I will come back in two years and remember how iconic I am. Exactly. I made sure to give the, um, those who are proper fans, I give VIP. So, I might have to crown some new VIP soon. I gave one to Ane and, um, Aniji, because they were, they're, they're, they've been there since the beginning. And I think I, I know at least two, three, I know at least two, three more people that's deserving a VIP soon. Who that could be? You have to wait and see. I'm struck by a short but fleeting headache. What was that? It feels somehow different to the headaches I've had before. It wasn't painful so as much, but as shameful? Like my own self was admonishing me for how foolish it was to think that she's beautiful. You, it is, cause CL's right there, bro. Slowly but surely, my lids begin to droop. <clears throat> I surrounded myself with the enveloping hand of weariness and allow it to drag my body and consciousness down into that dark abyss of a sleep. As I fall into the overpowering darkness, I attempt to reflect on just what part of my thoughts were foolish, but I am quite sure as my consciousness is dashed to pieces. Sh me, 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 me. Burp. Or hiccup. Oh, I'm still in this voice chat. Uh, there you go. I was still in the voice chat, apparently. Damn. Hold on. Alright. 
can't sleep. It's like too much on my mind. My brain is filled with a jumble of thoughts. Yeah. No, no, no I get it. I've got an ad starting when I can't stop this one. Alright, I guess it's a little break. Incoming, but obviously those who you know, have a badge, you don't have to worry about that. Or, um, have a sub. You don't have to worry about that. When it hits. <gasps> yeah! I'm on the top of Kubis too. Yeah! Yeah, well, hey, yeah, I was the top of his list too. Let's go! I'm number one on his one too. Yeah. Whenever I close my eyes, it's like they'll suddenly come into focus. Just woke up, so I won't be able to go back to sleep again right away. I reluctantly heave myself out of bed. Not gonna lie. Oh. I hate you. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Thank you, me. Thanks for coming, my. A minute and 30? Why the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna need Twitch to stop fucking with my ads. I'm gonna need to stop fucking with my ad length. Like dead ass. Please. Actually, Spice of Existence? Yeah, I love it too, man. Appreciate all the support. I do. I do, I do, I do. Uh, I don't mean to sniffle a lot, but that's just how it is. My favorite stream was supposed to win, not you. Well, that means I'm your favorite streamer. That means it's me. You know, that's what that means. It's me. I'm your favorite streamer. Let's go. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It says how many hours. Empress just a bit. No. <laughs> I hate you. No, you don't. No, you don't. At a time like this, nothing beats a bit of reading. I put on a robe so that I don't catch a chill. I saw robes are through my luggage. Fortunately, I've already read all these books well enough to know in my heart. Oh well. I'm just trying to kill the time here. I shouldn't be such a stickle about novelty. Hey, you love Matt. Uh, the spice of book. Not that you love me. You love me. Pick up a well thumbed book and head over to the conservatory. Quite cultured that there's a room dedicated to reading here in the mansion. Hell nee. Hell no. Sit down in the chair and start flipping through the pages of the book. Frick no. <laughs> hmm. The first emotion I felt was actually that of pity. Not anger, nor disappointment. Everything I laid eyes on just seemed so pitiful. Naturally, I myself was not. I myself was the most pitiful of all. He was born at the end of the 15th century. I'm going to cry now. Ah! Well, you can just cry here with us. As a child of a wealthy family, and the recipient of an expensive education, he grew up healthy, both in mind and body. He understood what it meant to be good, and would not countenance evil, no matter what form it took. The populace revered him as a prodigy, and took it for granted that he would dedicate himself to further improving their lands. Kelly is loser won my Twitch most watched stream by one hour. Year, that's how we do. We win by the smallest of increments. However, he defied his parents' wish that he inherited their estates, aspiring instead to become a man of the cloth. At the time, the corruption within the church, the pursuit of worldly desires by its potentess, had already been festering for a while. The true extent had yet to become widely known. 
His parents were disappointed, but still happily set him off in accordance with his wishes. Perhaps they thought it possible that he would be the one to air out the stink of corruption that pervaded their country. Naturally, there was never any chance that the lone son of some noble family with no backers could change the world. He passed through many cities, came to know many people, personally observed the start of many things, yet always arrived at the same conclusion. Not gonna lie, I thought Mr. Lost FF would have won, but he came second. Ah! See, I'm just that good. See, what y'all don't understand, I'm just that guy. That's what y'all don't understand, I'm that guy. Humans are wonderful. Among the many children the Lord had sworn unto the earth, man was the most excellent. No, you are not. You actually suck. Well, I could prove that I do, yeah, but I don't think that's very, you know, SFW if I show you that I'm good at sucking. I'm never coming to a stream again. Well, you never did beforehand. You came here just to complain, really. Which, you know what, I'll take that. This week, fragile. Tiresome, hopeless animal was nevertheless the most beautiful in all creation. The Lord's design was revealed through human nature, their dogged inability to live without seeking purpose. He met with new people on a daily basis. People who lived in the city, people who had come to visit it, anyone he could find. To exchange words with strangers and learn how they lived their lives was his source of joy. There is a truth to be gleaned from each and every life. There was meaning to be found even in the most of trivial, banal of lives. He strove to understand as many people as he could. His fellow students laughed at him. Isn't ten people enough? His teacher scolded him. Keep it to no more than a hundred, will you? The press buyers preached to him. Ye should try to know tens of thousands. Only his one trusted friend predicted was was in store for him. That's the living hell you're bound for. Just as his friend had said, by the time he had painstakingly recorded the lives of over a thousand people, he'd hit a wall. Not because his will had broken from finding the act uninteresting or unrewarding. Yeah? You're a sock in him? What are you... What are you talking about? He suck. Well, I could prove that I do, yeah. But... I don't think that's very... You know, SFW if I show you that I'm good at sucking. Oh! Well, uh, take that as you will. Rather, it was the complete opposite. He wanted to know even more people. One or two thousand simply wasn't enough. He had to collect more and more truths. Fuck you, Cuba. <laughs> but it was never enough. Matt, yes, Kumi? Far from it. Even if he were to live to 60 and spend every single day talking to people, he still wouldn't even be able to speak to everyone in his city. That wasn't all. As he worked, more and more people kept being born. The world kept expanding. New possibilities continued to appear. You like men genitalia. Well, I didn't say that. Just because someone is good at sucking doesn't mean that's what it is. Get your mind out of the gutter. Ooh, how precious little times we human have. You like men? I mean, men are right. I mean, you like women. See, boom, I can say that. I can say you like women. There you go. That's crazy. This kid used to admit it. Admit to what? In retrospect, he had never actually been happy as an individual. He had been spoken of as a prodigy, 
but the people around him had simply gotten the wrong idea. He was a man of fairly unremarkable talents. If his talents as a human were to be scored and tallied up, their sum would be no more impressive than those of any of his neighbors. But is that what it means? You think men are attractive? There's some attractive men out there, yeah? IRL, I mean... Perhaps, but... Fictional? Oh, hell yeah. There's some hot men out there in the fictional world. It was simply that those talents were practically focused in a certain direction. I mean, I can say the same, like... Kumi, you find women attractive. You know? I can say the same to you. I don't get your point. He was not interested in the essence of man so much as the essence of the world. Yeah, I mean, don't get me started. I mean... True. In exchange for holding this interest toward the whole, he lacked the ability to love the individual. It low-key does sound the open to like, the final K and K movie. You are right, this does sound familiar somewhat. It's good. I like the I like this I like this OST, it's good. If anyone knows the name to this one, uh I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, bro, I can't believe this bull fuckery. Oh my god, I'm actually flabbergasted. I can't believe this bullshit. I actually want to blow up a church in GTA. Damn Q, that's hilarious. Not gonna lie, funny shit I've ever read. Go on, we hope to file a lawsuit on Tona. Good one. Stop being dry. Okay. Yo, the vi- hold on, the violin? Hold on, hold on, hold on, the vi- hold on, the violin? Yo, I'm gonna need the name of this song. Okay, I'm seriously covering <laughs> I know someone's already working on it, probably. Find the song. Bro, you play better than. Play better than. If you think it sucks, uh, I want to see you do better. Actually, no. You play piano, so you can't even play violin. You don't, you don't even play. You don't even play violin. You play piano. In exchange for his capacity for self-improvement, he lacked in any ambitions of power. In exchange for his dreams toward the future, he lacked any sentiments about the present. The point being, he was very much inhuman. Yet in spite of that, he was a man of unparalleled virtue. He loved the purpose of mankind, loved the lives of good people, and held a faith more advanced than anyone else's. Thank you, Go! Actually, I did some violin practice before piano. Well, you never said that before. And to be fair, we never asked. Just why we didn't know. But I didn't actually know that. That's very interesting. Thank you, go. The Lord's in his heaven. Of course, that's the name of the song. But I was stuck with my new I still cook. I mean, if you can prove it. It was obviously impossible for impossible for him to single-handedly change the face of religion, but he should have been able to at least change to at least become a small part of that change. It's cooking a violin. I don't know. It's going kind of nuts. The prodigy who loved humanity but could not love people was undoubtedly a saint, at least until that moment came. So I'm going to buy one. Oh shit! cook. This is the story of a child, one step before he began studying other people. Bro, in the back on the church piano, not the orgel, but or the organ, but like, actually that is the organ, what am I saying? Yeah, that is an organ. They're cooking, holy. Dude. 
Ah, what a good OST. Once set before he began studying other people. Though he was still a child, his mind had already matured to the point where he would not write off the mysteries as something beyond his grasp. The boy who had already grasped the essence of society found little mysterious. And now we might go to Owen Pulsusen's Animusha? Well, I don't know, you have to check. Rain, clouds, even ghosts, all could be unraveled. It was those mysteries that could st Burp, had burp. It was those mysteries that still could not be explained by the current era that intrigued him. Things whose existence everyone else took for granted. It was these things that still captivated his childlike curiosity. Let's now watch T again. Uh, the one ghost and the English name? The English name seems to be... Uh, the Lord's in his heaven. Ah, that's really loud. That's a reprised version, but... Ah! Fukasawa. It's, uh, Hideyuki Fukasawa. <laughs> Nurture it. There you go, Saki. There you go. Things such as the brilliance of the stars, so ignored by his young peers. Hideyuki, my fucking god. Uh, yeah. What do you mean by that, Kumi? I was just looking it up. I didn't. It's not like I knew who it was. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He did the other song. He did Walt. He did Waltz. I'm kidding. Of course, I know who he is. Of course, he's cooking again. This is also true. Kumi, you share music with me. I was gonna say daily. It's not daily, but like you also share your music with me. So like you're a music nerd too, bro. Not talking to you. <laughs> Goddamn fuck. Leave me alone, okay? I'll leave you alone. Right? Hey, bro, I'll leave you alone, okay? That's why. What? Oh, that's actually. That's. Actually, their voice? Yo, hold on. I kind of killed that. I kind of killed that. Hold on. I kind of killed that with my hold on the voiceover right there. Hold on, I kind of matched that, but like English. Damn, you gonna fight here too? The white disc shone in the sky. Partially obscured by the clouds. What was it? What were its aims? Just what made it tick? Those were the feelings of anticipation, of curiosity, of fear, held towards something beyond one's grasp. All these were engraved in his heart as shining stars. This was the driving force that set everything in motion. I'm not entertaining this loser. Damn. Oh, how sinful it was. How foolish. It was then that he swore to the Heavenly Father that he would lay bare the fury that underpinned the universe. However, he would soon come to learn that the essence he had resolved to spend his life uncovering had already been deciphered by his predecessors. The House of God had already come into possession of vast quantities of information it wished to suppress. I did not take a breath, that fucking killed me. Ho! Oh. Hold on. I did not take a breath in that sentence. I did not, I did not take a breath. <laughs> Mathematics, astronomy, geology, history, architecture, economics, medicine, archiculture, and finally the alchemy that would later become chemistry. 
I mean, if I talk normally, kinda. I guess with the voice, it's... I... When I do the voice, I have a little something that is sticking in the throat, yes. To give a warm sense of reading. That's not how you say it. Well, shut up. Say, say which one. There's a lot of these words. Say which one. Fuck do I'm not English, brother. You know this. You know I don't spell well. I just read it. I, I'm just reading it the way I see it. Well, you know what? That's an L. I'm gonna just have to hold them. I'm not redo. I can't redo it. I already passed it. <clears throat> I'm gonna play FGO. No way. Not spelling it though. I'm saying it out loud. Shut up. God, you and your fucking technicalities. Fucking. God. Fucking. Nerd, you know, technicalities. Ciao. But, but you can just put me on your phone. Ciao. Fucking you and your technicalities. Spelling, pronouncing, same shit, bro. I don't care. Don't care. We're reading. The House of God had collected all of the cutting-edge theories and knowledge of his era under one roof. And locked him away. It was both the world's greatest academic institute and the graveyard of wisdom. But you can play Fortnite just fine. Your phone's an L, bro. Apes fashion, apes fashion tools. Man built civilization. Scholars read the stars. Devised observational methods. And before they had even attained the knowledge of how to soar through the sky themselves, and acquired the necessary wisdom to estimate the extent of the universe. What was the stone he had seen high above him that night? Even the answer to how the earth was governed had already been discovered. Nothing in creation broke this pattern. Everything mysterious had already had its general principles brought to light. You lost a website that lets you go to a website. That sounds like a skill issue, bro. And I feel like you should just find it again because that will make your life so much better. There was an obscure philosopher who once wrote, The next thousand years will be spent doing nothing more than proving these things we now know. The world continued to be explained. The universe continued to be given meaning. Well, then send him a message, bro, and ask him. You watch it get flatlined. Damn. Fucking all that shit works. Yo, Nemu got flatlined. Saki, just ask your friend about it again. Just ask, like, oh, what was that site again? I lost it. Is that Ushiwa Kamaru? The universe continued to be given meaning. When he discovered that this was already being attempted, it was not joy that took hold of him. <laughs> Nemuka turned to roadkill. <laughs> oh no. It was fear. Together with an inexpressible un anger. I was supposed to say anger, I don't know why. It was because I'd given up that I could overlook this. What is this? Just where does this end? If humanity goes on like this, the day will inevitably come when it becomes possible to know everything. So then why? Why does this body of mine have such precious little time? This human lifespan was pitiful in the face of the world's breath. He was mortified by the thought that even though he had lived for the sake of knowing everything, he would die in obscurity, never knowing anything. What if I happened to Naya? Roadkill again. 
The presso No! The sad saber got run over! No! Oh, don't do that. As he sought to uncover the purpose of humanity, he was forced to realize that human life had no meaning. Not gonna lie, seeing it turned around is cursed. Hey yo, hey yo. Anyone should be able to understand just how miserable of a conclusion that was for him. We ran the press saber over, it was me. It was me with my, um, you know, Nintendo Wii uh, Mario Kart wheel. As my steering wheel, sorry. It was at this time that he first began to fear death. Death was frightening. The futility of life was frightening. The infinite expanse of the world was frightening. He had gained so much knowledge and yet, it, he did not know a single thing. But what terrified him was not his own demise. Stop being dry. Nemu is black and white, it's the funeral. I'm drinking! It's the funeral! Funeral Namu! She dead! He was seeing his purpose fall apart. He's not living in the 1700s. I hope not. He needed to alter his thinking. There was still nothing eternal to be found on Earth. So if everything kept expanding and changing, then he simply had to wait for it to be complete. He strayed from the path that rose before him. He turned his back on the ladder reaching into heaven. What he wanted, what he had been searching for, was simple. Jolteren Tsukime, realist moment. He wanted to know everything. In order to do so, he needed infinite time. It's quite ironic. The man who so feared the infinite expansion of humanity found his solution in the pursuit of infinite time. Bro, what? Uh, I have no idea who this is. Yeah. I guess I just I. Well, making ties with us now is not a bad call. The rapid spread of the Gutenberg Press possesses an existential threat. To say nothing of the ref reformation, it's gonna get real for a while. Both for us at the church and for the association. Though, I imagine it's going to hit the Mage Association harder than it'll hit us. All manner of superstitions will be wiped off the face of the earth by the spread of mass printing. I'm sure the foundations that underpin the arcane will groan loudly under the strain. Possesses speak English. Shut up. I'm the one talking here. I'm talking here. Uh, is this someone new? Bro. All these people talking. I don't know who is. <laughs> so that's why you've chosen now to make your move. Both parties have their hands full dealing with their own problems. Even if some mad prodigy were to strike out for the true ancestor's castle, it'd be a while before they gave chase. You're a real opportunist, opportunitist, huh? You're gonna take this chance to try and nab the eternity that's closest at hand, are you? Of course not. Vampires are merely hard to kill and slow to age. They're far from eternal. They'll serve as nothing more than one of my stepping stones. For now, I will perform a clean suicide so as to die a human death. Shut up! Uh -huh. The man who seeks eternity rushes headlong toward his own demise. How ironic. So, do you intend to leave the church tomorrow then? I will leave the burial classroom in your care. I have no aspirations of becoming a bishop. I've burned through the entirety of my inheritance to make it this far. 
It was high time I made my decision. What do you mean I'm good? I'm reading. Shut up. Let a man read. Well, of course I'm doing good. I don't know, I don't know what you're asking here. I don't know what you're asking. Wow, man. I don't know what you're asking. That was uncalled for. I'm just... <laughs> Back. I'm sorry. Jeez. Of course I'm good. What are you talking about? I mean, I'm still sick, but like, bro, I'm good. I'm reading. On the other... On one side, the son of some provisional magnet, magnate, on the other, a woman who has not but the stigma she bears, two comrades who fail to make it to the rank of bishop together, and who will no longer count on each other for comfort. The end. Well, whatever. Selden, you're still planning on finishing your mage craft theory, I take it? I have no intention of leaving the church, so I can't go down the same path as you. Well, luckily for me, I'm a woman. Guess I'll pop some kids out so I can tell them all about you. Yo, 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 what the fuck? Apparently this is a woman in here. Oh, and what will you tell them, Narbarek? Hmm, I guess something about how a new dead apostle is Gonna make his debut in a century or so? Make sure they understand that trying to fight him will be pointless. And they should just leave him alone. Oh. Twitch bugging? Oh. Oh. You won't have time to wait a whole century. I suspect I'll become a target for Inquisition within your lifetime. This body will make for a fine bloodsucker. Ten years should prove plenty. <laughs> Stop spouting nonsense. I have to start over as one of the dead. It'd take even a once in a decade genius like yourself a century at least. The world is practically a living hell. The ruthlessness of which can't even begin to be compared to ours. That should give me ten ads. Ten? I somehow doubt that. Ten, that's a bit much. If I were to do everything by the book, you'd be right. However, I would become a top-ranking bloodsucker on day one. Rules of their world wouldn't apply. I don't follow. What do you mean? Oh, it's quite simple. I'm sure you're aware that the power of a dead apostle is influenced by the true ancestor who drank their blood. What on check cord? One out of five? You're still getting more? What? Bro, what the hell? There's a what the dog doing? There's a dog. That's funny. That's weird. Huh. Which means If I'm aiming to become the greatest dead apostle. I simply have to get my blood sucked by the greatest true ancestor. Why am I still watching ads? I don't know. Twitch be fucking me, I guess. I mean, it's not. Oh, it's a point. It's not fucking me. It's a good thing for me. But like at the same time, bro, I don't want this many ads. So that's a, was a conversation between Roa and whoever this Narbarek is. I don't know who Narbarek is, but. I, the other guy was very clearly Roa. Get his blood sucked from Grace's true ancestor, which I assume was Ark. Interesting conversation. Day 8. Reverse hatching 2. Hatching? Oh, that's a chicken. Bro, what the hell? 
Sixtama. Ah! Oh. I hear Sui calling out to me as I feel the rays of the morning sun. Sixtama. Omezame no jikan desu. Okay. Monotone voice cuts right through my drowsiness. Ui. Ohayo, Hisui. Brought myself upright in bed. I replied to Hisui. How'd I catch you lacking twice, huh? What'd I do now? Twitch be fucking me, I guess. <laughs> oh. I'm like, what did I say now? I didn't... I, I didn't... Pick up on the fact that's the way it sounded. I feel a sharp pain in my temple. But there's another thing severe enough to stop from getting up. No, 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 no. I'm fine. Hey, he's you. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, he's you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. I gladly shake my head and get out of bed. Yeah. Oh, it was nice to see you. And I'm simply thanking you for doing your duty. <laughs> and it's something I will keep doing. Oh, you posted both in the. Oh, you posted. Oh, we got back shots by. That's a crazy way to put it. Backshot by Twitch. That's a way to put it. Alright. Yes, you have. Ah. That's... Dude. That's why I'm truly grateful to be woken up by Isui. Ultimate clickbait. Honestly, you're right. She's even brought me a change of clothes. She really leaves nothing to be desired. あ、you're sad. Why are you sad? What? What? Hmm? Is she saying as me though there's something weighing on her mind? Also, she's trembling slightly. Is she nervous? Ah! To come on for faintly clouded eyes, it makes me. Ah. Wait a minute. But one of the doors was still unlocked. You knew, didn't you, Isui? You knew. You sneaky, that's what you knew. You knew I went out, didn't you? どうかお気にな。Which means you at some point went and unlocked it again. At this point I grasp what history is getting at. Right about way, she's explained to me what happened with the lock on the back door to the west wing. Well, she is your maid, so of course she noticed you're gone. <laughs> Hisui sees all. Hisui hangs her head apologetically. Stop, of course you're not mad, that's just fine. You're so smart, Hisui. You're so smart. And then you saw I was gone. Yeah, and then you saw that I was gone. Hisui answers with a very faint voice. 
She must find it awkward to have to say anything that makes it sound like she's criticizing her master's misbehavior. Stop being dry, you got it, man. It, actually, it is very important for me to actually keep drinking, because... Well, I don't have to say why. You already know why. I'm sick. Alright. So it is actually pretty important I keep drinking. I should take my leave. Well, thank you for staying as long as you did. And I'll see you, uh... Later. Bye-bye, Kumi. Snooze that bitch for five minutes. You normally don't pull up the sick image streams anyway. You normally don't. It's fun when you do, though. See you on Wednesday. Yeah. Ah, demo. I can't bring myself to ask her to keep this from Akio. It caused her, her it caused her undue stress. She's been taking care of me, but her re employer is Akia, the head of the Tono family. Having her a bit disloyal to Akia will only sort of put her in jeopardy later. All time in the world on Wednesdays are melty. We could just do some melty right after uh, right after you know these two days of Sukihime. We could, yeah. Just do some melty. On stream, we could do that. That's been a while, so it cut out the one for first thing, which is fine. Hmm. You see, he doesn't respond. He just stares sadly at my face. All right, I bet that. All right, see you Wednesday. No, no, Call or no call? Well, it'll be a call. Sure. Yo, why is she mad? Oh no. She's mad. No. I really haven't. Okay. Oh, you mean... Like I promised to Akia when I first got here. Oh, you mean that? N no. Uh, she may look docile, but she sure knows how to hit me where it hurts. Why do we have to keep hanging out with Ark, man? I'm gonna say it. Why do we keep hanging out with Ark? I'm gonna say it. Can we not just hang out with Hisu- I'm oh, sorry, CL and Noel instead? It's not like I can say I'm fighting against the remaining vampires for any further casualties. But just trading off makes me look even more suspicious. See, cooperate with the other two? This should be the last time. I hope. No. Again? Oh, right, because of laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can be pretty confident on that point. If nothing else. There probably isn't a single person in this city that can beat Awkward. Okay. Yasuo bows courteously and leaves the room. Yeah. I'm grateful to her for making such a large concession for me. She is. I just told me that she looked the other way while on patrol, and I've still got until 1 o'clock to make it back to the mansion. That shouldn't be too bad, yeah? That shouldn't be too bad. W wait! Wait, hold on, wait! Shiki, your glasses! That just- I- it just clicked. It- is he pat- does he not care anymore? 
Wait. Chiki, your glasses. Or Chiki, you're... You're not wearing your pla... Do you not need them anymore? Are you like Ryogina? You don't need them? I changed into my school uniform and leave my room. I had a headache when I woke up, but I seemed to be in good shape otherwise. So I had to go wash my face in the second floor bathroom before I head to the dining room. Dining room. That starts in 20. Okay. Now that it's autumn, the tap water's gotten colder. We should just use my cupped hands to splash some water on my face, but on a whim, I've failed to sink and submerge my head in the water. That's gonna be a big sink then if you do that. The cold water robs the warmth from my face. My eyes, nose, and mouth are all sealed off from the open air. I'm struck by the similarity of this action to making a death mask impression in plaster and lifting my submerged face from the water. I really feel as though something's off with the reflection that greets me in the mirror. I mean, I realize I'm not wearing my glasses. I should take them off to wash my face. Even so. Ah! There. I feel much better now. I put my glasses back on and decide to head toward the dining room where Quakrasan is waiting. Uh, Chiki? You weren't wearing your glasses at all. And why did you... Okay, we're back to normal now. What? Is Shiki okay? Okay. After finishing breakfast, I head to the living room. Yeah, I find Akia. Who finished her own breakfast some time ago. Yeah, yeah. Our esteemed family head is in a visibly good mood as she elegantly savors her tea. Wonder what's got her in such high spirits. Um... Hmm. Regular tea, though. Regular Ah, yeah, it's... Hello and good morning, Kwaku-san. Kwaku-san cheerfully heads for the kitchen. As for me, I sit down the sofa opposite Nakia and scroll through some new sides of my phone. There's an endless stream of banal stories, as per usual. But nothing new regarding the serial murders. Banal stories, sorry. It's fully aware that it wouldn't be, but looks like there was no new victims in the vampire incident. I mean, confirm that, put the phone back in my pocket and. A matrix is gawking at me, as though she's just witnessed something unbelievable. Because she's not supposed to know you have a phone with you, Shiki! Shiki, what are you. Why are you becoming so airheaded? No, no, no. That's not the issue. It's the fact you have it. Oh. Wait, does she not care? I thought she cared a lot about the fact that I had a phone. But I guess she doesn't care now? ただ兄さんがそういうものを使いこなす姿というのがイメージに合わなかったので驚いただけです。ああ、you're Excuse me. Uh, that's fair. So, Yeah. 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 
Well, the current year she, the current year Chiki would definitely shock the hell out of you then. Yes。例えば、発信者は爪先しか見せていないのに、その爪が猫のものだっただけで、全身まで猫だと決めつけるような。Word analogy, but correct. You know what? I'll just have my back on. <gasps> Thank you. I'll, I don't mind being in the background. That that's great. I love being in the background. That, yeah, they do tend to think that, yeah. Hmm. My dear Triarch, I have to break it to you. But I know cat paws is, in fact, a cat. Oh, because of Dakia, I get it. それはそれで便利だと思うよ。知り合う人全部に全身全霊で向き合ってたら体力が持たないし。オッケー、you Start optimizing your relationships. I don't know if I, that's how I'd quite put it, Chiki or Chiki, but okay. Although Ariko, the one who said that to me, was just life in a complete defiance of that same advice. So, I won't lie, I'm flabbergasted we're able to have a conversation with Akia that actually is friendly. And it makes me very happy, actually. We can just have a friendly conversation for once. Oh, okay. okay, well of course Akia's gonna play the devious card. It should go without saying at this point. But my little sister sure is scary. When I was sharing with Akia, Kwakusan returned with the... Uh, Hojicha. I... I'm <clears throat> gonna assume that's it. Do you know the Hojicha, which is strange? Yet refreshing. Dispels my after meal... Fargi. Why? Yo! Nasu, could you stop with the big words, man? Serious, what the fuzz? Oh. Grr, you and your big words. Stop! I don't speak this language. It must be about time for Akia to hit the school, as she suddenly stands up from the sofa. Uh, no. Oh, Victor. I look up, startled by her nonchalant words. Asuka asked what I had plans. Asuka asked what I had plans for today. For some reason, those very ordinary words struck a chord with me. What she asked was, "What will you do today?" And I felt as though she was really asking me, "What will you do from now on?" Yeah, nothing. I went to school and she wait do you want to actually hang out with me for once that's kind of hold on we're actually like bonding a little bit wait a minute i can't grumble some frustration you know what akia you're not so bad you know what you're not so bad I can't leave the living room with mom with Kwaku-san.
I'm alone. I once again ask myself what's next. What about the yesterday? I'll never ask myself what I should do. Now, I didn't once stop to consider what I wanted to do. As someone who's all too aware of what's happening in the city, my priority should be to clean up the remaining vampires. I put my sense of duty aside. Unsurprisingly, Senpai's face comes to mind. You should just try to hang out with her more. I agree with that. We're charmed by her, both as a member of the opposite sex and as a human being. I want to learn more about her. I also want to see her smile. But... Since I adore Senpai, I just can't stop thinking about Awkward. I'm sure that my partnership with Akut will come to an end, and I'll return to the ordinary life I hadn't lived before without any lingering regrets. Not convinced, I stand up from the sofa. Time is 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna leave soon if I want to make make it on time. Yeah, better keep quiet about that part. I'm painfully aware that Aqua and Senpai are like oil and water. I don't feel good about hiding things from Senpai. It'd be best if I try to avoid her noticing anything until after it's all over. Well then, on to school we go. What's gonna happen? Oh no, is Sui seeing us off? Oh, I guess you're just skipping all this because we've done it a million times before. Ah! I arrive at the classroom ten minutes before homeroom, despite Seal Senpai and Arihiko happily chatting away by my seat. Oh, Seal Senpai. Why, wait, 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 why are you mad? Hold on. Hmm? The second I call out to her, Senpai abruptly stops talking. Well, okay, yeah, that, that, no, that makes sense why she's mad. She came to say hi, and I wasn't even here. Yeah, that makes sense why she's mad then. And now she's mad that you were late. I'm implying nothing. What did you? Stupid Hiko, what did you tell her? Looks like Arihiko's noticed it too. The person across from us is very clearly in a bad mood. Um, <clears throat> the silence is crushing, painfully so. Arihiko slides close to me and whispers in a hushed voice. I don't know, man! I don't know! It's probably you. You probably said something stupid, didn't you? Um. <clears throat> hey. Senpai is suddenly glaring at me. Okay, so it's me. Wait, wait a minute. It couldn't be that you found out about me and Awkward, could it? Hey, hey. I... Uh, would you talk to me? I thought the worst... <laughs> the worst she could say is no. I have absolutely no interest in you whatsoever. The worst she could say is no, right, Chad? That's the worst she could say. No, it's not the worst she could say. But... I just wanted to see the details of it. I used to fall into a trap. Never mind, we might be good. Alright, we might be good. 
You do have some interest in so you do have some interest in me. Shoot, that was a knee jerk reply. I just took a drink! Oh my f Thank you, Kumi. <clears throat> Oh, thank you. Really? I mean, I guess. Well, you don't mean me. You mean Chiki, but still, thank you. I'm not bashful at playing with her classes. Senpai, in a polite tone, gives me some uncharacteristic abuse. Into a, a locker? I'm being treated like a nerd now. Damn. Some of the words are cold. My expression's stiff and severe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rihiko and I shoot each other a glance, bewildered by her unreasonable attitude. Yeah. My knees and beg apparently. Uh, you heard that part. Oh, first one button. Yeah, so come on, Hannah's to me. It's a stonami no joga nine de yoku jirai from Karana. What the fuck is Shiritori? And I'm interested. Uh, I'm interested. Wait, what is that? I'm interested. Senpai and I both shout at the same time. See, that's Senpai meets my gaze and awkwardly looks away. Word chain? Oh. Oh, so like you say a word and someone says another word that starts with Is it the is it the game where you say a word and someone and the next word is what your word ended with, right? So if like I say ball, someone has to say a word that starts with L, right? Is it that word? Or that game? Yes. Ah! That's smart! Yeah. I haven't played that game. Actually, I have. It's a lie. I have played shit totally. Yeah, uh, How to make me cry? Make me cry! I mean, I, I can cry pretty easily. Why would you wanna? Stupid Hiko, Assy Hiko, Ari Hiko, what are you doing? You're being a terrible wingman right now. Actually, it can be fun to put a on which word you can use. Yeah, it can be fun in that regard. She has some about oohs and ahs excitedly. I've got to hand it to Arihiko. We managed to cheer her right back up again. However. What? Yeah, it would be a deal for me to offer, not you. That's very good point. But he makes a compelling point. Fucking hurry up. Let me snooze this ad, bro, because uh, this is fun. This is exactly what I wanted. This is, dude, this is what. This is what I love the most so far. The school moments. These are the most fun moments. Uh, three minutes until homeroom starts. Like Senpai Noel Sensei burning heads in the classroom would be enough to give me nuclear. So I guess I've got no other choice. Ah. 
What? Chiki, why do you cry when you play Shiritori? What? そうそう。もうボロボロ泣く。中学の頃、それを知らない女子どもがびっくりしてさ、なんか悲しい出来事でも思い出させちゃったのとか。Who the fuck cries while playing Shiritori? Well, I guess Chiki. But who the fuck? むやみに大人気で俺は頭にきましたけどね。I bet you're best. Sempa looks at me curiously, still asking why. I understand, I understand how she feels. But the human body just behaves in mysterious ways sometimes. What the fuck does that mean? This is not even close to the same as loving or hating food. Why does this make you cry? <laughs> Having heard that preposterous story, somebody timidly asks for confirmation. Stop being dry? Okay. Thank you. Uh, you still cry? Oh my god. She is not. She's interested to play. No, it's a bear anymore. I try to change the subject. Regardless of the reason, it's pretty embarrassing for your Achilles heel to be shittatory. Except, Senpai doesn't seem to share my opinion. No, I don't Oh no. oh no, it's my favorite sprite. Oh no. Been amusing to herself. Somebody close to the throw and regains her composure. You're not safe from these stop being dry. You know what? Thank you. I'll keep I'll just say thank you. I'll run out of a drink I'll run out of drinks soon, so I'm making a new one. Oh. Well, I guess no shiratori.Okay. Sampai's looking at me with her usual smile on her face. I guess she's got no whatever was bothering her. And homeroom again. Unfortunately, the heartless chime in the kid in the start of homeroom homeroom rings. A friendly chat with Senpai will have to wait until lunch break. Yes. Yeah. As he go to skip two minutes. Senpai leaves her classroom at a brisk but natural pace. Ariko waves her retreating figure goodbye. Seemingly he's not planning on ditching class today. Probably no smart, small part due to Senpai's chiding. Ah, uh, no Noel Sensei. Where's Noel? Three period in the morning. Mathematics. I steadily slips by. Never deviating from its well-worn routine. Humans don't change their habits unless they're actively being confronted by something abnormal. Like how I'm just sitting here in class, even knowing that some of the dead still remain. Or how some people stick to their routines even when they're fully aware that there's serial kill on the loose. Humans are so resilient. They adapt to the strangeness of the present and dull their sense of danger, all in order to protect their future selves. This is a fundamental skill of those living in our modern society. By the way, or he could disappear during first period. It seems even Senpai's admonishment had worn off after only an hour. This too is just one more example of a habit. Despite a massive hole opening up in front of the station, Inui Arihiko's lifestyle hasn't changed. And if he does somehow sense that something is off, he still can break that habit. Not like I'm one to talk. I'm still sitting in class despite knowing there are still vampires in this city. And then those vampires go on strike to protect Tonochiki's routine. 
Sure, there are other reasons why. They don't pose a threat during the day. They can be with Aquin before nightfall. For my virtuous talk, I'm still putting my own life and interests first. Uh, it's a sense of danger or a sense of justice that I lack? Probably both. Left them in the dust the moment I chose to work together with Aquid. But a vampire? With that, I think we're just gonna do a minute ad break. Because I smell. danger. Smell at danger. Got to stretch a little bit. Oh, stretch. Stretch my legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is so much nicer. I'm able to just actually sit back in my chair. This is so much nicer. Uh, yeah, this is a lot better. It was very cheap too, this mic. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it was very cheap too, actually. It got for a very good deal. Even while trying to conform to human society, I started down a path no upsetting human would ever have chosen. Yet here I am. Feeling like that path was the perfectly obvious choice to make. <laughs> Oh, we're having an uh, anemic attack, huh? Answering the negative to the question coming from the teacher's podium. My body's feeling just fine. I'd said since yesterday, it's even been feeling good. I cock my head to the side. I was by my own words and tried to look out the window. Even ignoring the transparency of my face reflected in the glass, my complexion appears strangely morbid. body crumbles without a sound. I can hear the teacher worriedly calling out to me from the podium. I thought I'd be feeling a little too good. I guess the reason my vision has been cutting in and out for a while is because I'm dizzy from anemia. No matter how desperate I try to cling to the consciousness, I can't stop it slipping away. Talma probably blinks from my vision, as though the curtain had suddenly fallen mid-act. We had an anemic attack. <clears throat> Suddenly, I find myself in a dream. Ah, we're back home! Or, we're back in the hospital. You know, to treat a disease I've had since I was a child. I spent a few months in the care of a familiar hospital. What is this song, dude? Jeez. In boring tranquility, I recover both mentally and physically. It's almost time for me to leave to the hospital. I have a dream that reeks of blood. I'm entrusted to the care of my relatives. And after that, I spend my days in peace. I'm a model student, a graduate from middle school without incident. No matter how hard I try, I cannot escape the touch of death. Its indelible blemishes haunt me from the shadows. When I hear of my father's death, I return to my parents' home for the first time in years, and I'm reunited with my sister. The traces of the child she once was still remain. She has matured beautifully. The mansion also houses two twin girls, who go to incredible lengths to take care of us. But I still try to avert my gaze. It's impossible for me to avoid seeing the end. I see an unfamiliar woman. She's a perfect stranger to me. It's a meaningless encounter. Even though I knew I wasn't normal, I'd be confident that I was still human. I step into her room. I'm captivated by her vibrant vitality. My spine shudders with lust. 
A concept is foreign to me. I understand that this is love. I want to know more about her. Because of that... This is the result. The atrocity that I cannot atone for. The stain of her lukewarm blood sears my skin. Her entrails smell foul. The cesspool of intestines spilling from her dissected body makes me sick to my stomach. Her abdomen calls to mind the image of a brimming stockpot. Her dismembered ex remedies remind me of something else. It looked like a sponge cake that had been cleanly sliced with a knife. There's the yellow of the sponge, the sugar white of the cream, and even the ruby red of the strawberries. The smell of the blood clings to me. It's stench is synonymous with violence. The reek of that mixture of blood and gore infiltrates through my nostrils and into my brain, scrambling my sense of reason. My grip on reality weakens. Gravity gives up its hold. My eyes become fixed on all too seen before me. To me, the light splashing of those droplets sounds like a raging downpour. Or cascading waterfall. Those paltry three liters of blood. Boundless ocean. Ah, it is a masterpiece of dismemberment. Each and every cross section a captivating work of art. With each comparison I make, I become even more painfully aware of how monstrous I am. This must be how soldiers feel after parachuting onto the battlefield. The thing that I've been gazing down on mere moments ago is... In reality, so large that I now have to turn my gaze upward instead. Her corpse looms larger and larger. The weight of my actions comes crashing down on me like a tsunami. It's too late for me to do anything. The other hopelessness overwhelms me. In a very literal sense, I could drown under all this information. I can't escape. I can't even breathe. This is something I'd learned of in principle, but had pretended not to see. The monumental workings of life itself. My consciousness grows smaller and smaller. My ego grows more and more distant. My existence as an individual begins to waste away, unable to bear its own vulgarity. Without any basis on which to deny them, the more I try to blot out my sins, the larger the world around me grows. Before I know it, I'm scarcely larger than an insect. The dismantled parts are like towering buildings. I'm spilling blood of flood that submerged the city they form. And here I am, a maggot writhing around amid her corpse, gazing up at the spectacle. This is what it means to kill someone. I sit here at the epicenter of the act that I myself have perpetrated, shaking as though I'm somehow the victim, shamelessly thrashing about trying to latch onto some glimmer of salvation. I told you so. You can't hide your true colors, can you? Thank you. <clears throat> Thinking I heard someone speak to me, I snap out of my insectile self-torment. In front of me, obviously it lies a corpse. Tells when I once the human body ceases to move, it's just in the way. It takes up space, it's difficult to dispose of, and tedious to clean up after. Right. No wonder people don't like them lying around the house. Did you really think her coming back to life excused you? That was never the point. The details of who you killed don't matter. That's a take away from how fucked up you are! Ah, uh, I 
feel so... You were always inhuman. No chance of redemption. I mean... <laughs> Did you seriously think you'd be handling your life well up until now? Really? <laughs> Disgustingly good that I want to throw up. What the hell is wrong with me? Am I losing my head just because I've killed someone with my own hands for the first time? I'm a psychopath. More despicable than an insect. Beautiful? How could I ever think I had the right to utter such a word? I had a dream. An absurd dream in which I was a decent human being. <clears throat> My mind feels foggy. I think I had some kind of pet dream. Open my eyes. I have myself in the school infirmary. There's so many times that I can recognize it just by looking at the ceiling. I'm lying in bed, and curtains around me has been pulled shut. I'm awake, but my body won't move. It seems that my blood isn't making it to my limbs. I'm burping a lot, but sorry. The only thing I can still control is my breathing, and even that takes a conscious effort. I'll let my mind wander, I'll probably fall right back asleep. Whenever this happens, all I can do is lie and wait for my circulation to recover. Uh, even just attempt to call out would only serve to weaken me further. Uh -huh. As I motionlessly stare at the ceiling, my ears finally start being able to pick up sounds. Their voices come from beyond the curtain. この国に来てから出費が増えて大変よね。安くていいものばかりなんだもの。若い者もつい弾んじゃうんじゃない。あ、そうそう。昨日潰した人の話したっけ。高級マンションに引きこもってたやつ。もうめっちゃくちゃい
Well, play my game, dummy. Ah. Oh. So, round enough. Seems like I shouldn't have got my hopes up. Well, since I sound somewhat indifferent. そうなんだっても。もう。なんかシールさんにしては歯切れが悪いのよね。これじゃいつもと立場が逆じゃない悪い冗談みたい。鬼の格乱っていうのかな。もしかしてお風邪人の寝ぐらの調査は先生だけで
ねえシエルさん死者探しの仕事四季君に協力してもらうのはどう私たちもう無関係な他人じゃないんだし I'm surprised you didn't ask me earlier I'm gonna be honest I'd say yes See, I wouldn't though Unless it's a frosa conspiration or wink in my direction Probably searching for the dead Same as awkward Chat gets to make a choice. Oh boy. Oh, chatters, you have a minute. Make it count. Do we help? Do we say we could be of help use for them? Do we, do we say that we could be of help? Or do we say, like, oh, nah, but I, I, I'm gonna promise someone else, and like, I can't be really doing Personally, I'm a believer of the first one. Personally. I personally think that's the best one, but, you know. It's not up to me, right? So. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, there's see much much fighting over it, so fair enough. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Not much fighting on it. I get it. We will indeed help him out though. Of course she's gonna turn us down, but we tried. Tell him about your eyes, Shiki. I didn't get a chance to reply. So much tone of voice was no act. She rebunks the lessons with a genuinely scathing tone and begins to head for the door. Okay. And only on your task. トノ君は二度と吸血鬼に関わらない。ああ。これは警告です。破ったものには私から相応の処置があると覚悟するように。ああ。シェット。怒られちゃった。やっぱり本音出すと怖いわね、あの子。あ、そうでなくちゃ私
しっかりねオッケー先生はもうちょっと休んでいくからちょっと風邪気味みたいなのよね食欲もないし歩きも出ないし夏バテみたいなものかしら Something like that, yeah. Oh, she closes the curtains surrounding the bed. No one says that lies down while merrily whistling a tune. I don't know. 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 ちょっと早いけど、子供たちにプレゼントをあげましょう。なし、in this situation、if she if if I had someone like nonsense as my teacher and they did this, they'd be the fucking best. Clearly, they'd be the best. They just like you know dip a class or two, give us self study, which means we're gonna do anything but study. That's a cool teacher in my book. Give the kids some freedom every once in a while, you know. Some freedom. After giving that bizarre excuse, she falls asleep. I'd feel awkward on waking her up. I've got to get going anyway if I want to make it in time for fourth period. Take some cold medicine from the cabinet and place it on the table just in case. Then leave the infirmary. It's always fun talking with Noel Sensei. Fourth period is over. I wonder if I should visit Seal Senpai in the tea ceremony room or just eat lunch alone. Either way, I need to go buy some food from the school store first. What? Senpai? What are you? I went to the store. I catch a clip of Senpai crossing the courtyard. She's greeting all the students she passes on the way. But she's still making a beeline for the school gates. Maybe school at this time of day. Suspicious. This man loves the school store too much. Well, loves a certain type of bread too much to bother leaving school for lunch. Should we go to investigate the vampire unless she mentioned in the infirmary? She is. Can't let her do it alone. Still got a couple things I'd like to clear up with her. <laughs> Chicky, if you could just listen to CL Senpai sometime, would be great. She puts on a brave face, but she's still recuperating too. It looks like poor on me if I don't step up and produce some results of my own. Alright, time to follow Senpai. I don't think she'll flat out reject my help if I explain myself properly. This is a very bad idea, but okay, here we go. Rush out through the school gates. Simple was walking across the courtyard at a pretty average pace, but even though I have sprinted after a top speed, there's still a fair bit of distance between us. Senpai is over there. She's headed down the road toward the station. That silhouette couldn't be anyone else. Is it just me? Or is she walking insanely fast? She nonchalantly ducks into an inconspicuous side street. What a her about loser. God. <clears throat> Sorry. All this talking is getting to me. It's been running non-stop for a while. I pause for a second to catch my breath. I managed to keep up with her somehow. Then lost sight of her the moment we arrived at the plaza south of the station. It's just before one o'clock. It's the business district. There's not as much pedestrian traffic as there is on the north side of the station. There's nobody here but the odd gaggle of office workers headed back from lunch. <laughs> but she's gone. Placing a hand to my chest to calm my racing heart. I take another look down my surroundings. South South Station offers a pretty clear view. I look at the north side, which tends to be clogged with traffic. It's a mistake to think that we ought to stay on our trail. There's a bit of distance between us. Senpai didn't notice me. Or rather, I didn't get close enough to call out to her. 
I don't think she would have hidden someone out to invade me. Which means... You did not. <laughs> oh, you're so fucking funny, Seal. Oh, you're so funny, Seal Senpai. Of course, she knew you were following. That's alright. Crap. Her expression of pan to make it seem like she's playing along, but her eyes are dead serious. It's not surprising. She's just calmly tailing her. And that's on top of this morning's incident in the infirmary. Anyone would be angry after all that. But it's not like I came chasing after her just for fun. He just sees his moment to confidently strike back. Konnichiwa, senpai. Konna jikan ni soto de au nante. キグですね。私はこれから電車に乗って隣町まで行くんですが、当の君は早退して帰宅ですか？いえ、帰るのは後です。俺も先輩と同じ電車に乗りますから。なめきのすごい、convincing。当の知き。お、ご次元目はボイ
無鉄砲な後輩に吸血鬼のねぐらがどんなものか知ってもらうのもマイナスではありませんしほら Now s h i k i My dear my MC c h i k i My goat, my dude, my main character Would you please explain to her your eyes so this would be a lot easier? I don't know if it's because my feelings got through to her or not, but Senpai is once again smiling like she usually does. Yeah, she really isn't herself without her smile. Tadashi, some of my hands are still more than I can ever give us. Another got to hold up, though she got a spy was Tanoka. Look at the Muska. No, it's quite this. Does she mean last night's run with awkward? She brings that up. I don't have a good way to explain myself. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty shit. I don't know why she's doing this. And yet he tailed awkward just fine. Hmm. I guess crazy murder Shiki is better at it than normal Shiki. I got scolded for my sloppy shadowing. See, that's actually the main reason she's mad at me. She'd apparently planned on just giving me the slip earlier. My time of tanning her was so careless that she couldn't resist calling me out on it. Probably a bit late at this point to protest that I wasn't actually trying to tail her in secret. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's not what she means. I answer Senpai with a wry smile on my face. Maybe dauntly severe in some ways, but see how Senpai really is a caring person at heart. Alright. We get to see some vampires or some shit. Some shit. Senpai and I board the train together and travel around two stops. At Kushizuka Station, we catch a bus and ride it for 20 minutes. From the nearest bus stop, it's not 20 minutes on foot to our destination. Deep in the heart of this industrial area, far removed from the res residential district, lies the quietly decomposing husk of a building. Oh, this place! So, it was a nest! When we went here on our own in the Ark Road, this was a nest! Okay. Huh. It was a nest then, okay. Senpai, Kokwa? Shito no Negura desu. Yeah. Beshita. Oh, you beki desu. Oh, it was? So it's not anymore. Isen ni shorista stokara teni reta joho deshtaga. Completely abandoned, no? An abandoned dwelling. In other words, a miss. To be fair, this seems like the sort of place that even a wild dog would want to live in, let alone a dead apostle. It's not from more than a forgotten ruin that happens near the city. It must have been a pretty important hospital before it was abandoned. Even from my vantage point by the main gate, I can take a pretty good guess as to how sprawling it is inside. Grass is slowly encroaching on the buckling asphalt. Various parts of the water visible in the distance appear to have collapsed. I wonder if it was on fire that I one I wonder if it was a fire that originally put this place out of commission. Even if it was, there is far too stark a contrast between the more rundown parts of it and the areas that were less affected. Okay. Now she says something like this, Senpai doesn't ask whether or not I'm coming with her. It's probably her way of making it clear that she's not forced me to do any of this. It's all something I've selfishly decided to do on my own. I answer with a simple nod and follow after her. Hopping the weeds underfoot, we enter the grounds of the dis dilapidated hospital. The sky looks so high out here, with no tall buildings crowding around to block the view. 
There's nothing but vast blue sky stretching out in all directions. Its spotless brilliance is enough to hurt my eyes. あの地下墓地みたいなですか。Kinda, hmm. I guess. Oh, I pushed button button. え、病院は人にとって利用しやすく、また価値のある施設です。個人資産によるものならなおさらですね。うん。I hmm. see. We get to the abandoned hospital. See Elsa by carefully inspects each and every room. Perfectly we'll clear both to me and Senpai that there's nothing to be found here anymore. Even so, she's meticulously combing the place to ensure that there's nothing unusual lying around. It strikes just stark contrast to Aqua's cavalier attitude. Senpai, <sighs> ジャマオシナイテイドナラ、どうぞ。オッケー。じゃあ遠慮なく。吸血鬼は2種類いて、先輩たちがやっつけてるのは首都の方ですよね。先輩たちが追っていた首都は、どんなやつだったんですか。
かしくはなしですよ先輩たとえ話ですから最後まで聞いてくださいオッケーどうのくんはたまたま気まぐれで映画館によってその映画を見たとします誰かが主役のそのホラー映画を見終わってふと横の席を見るとそこには悪役だった誰かが座っていました Two more summons? Oh shit! 映画のエンドロールから抜け出してきたばかりの血まみれの誰かが、oh. 彼は言いますはじめまして誰かさん映画の世界からやってきたものですああでも安心して怖がらないで私は台本通りに殺人鬼を演じただけそれがまさか終わった後に映画から追い出されるとは思ってもいなかったもう一度ゲッパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディアパーディ
そうですか突然意地が悪くなったことはどうかと思いますけどその映画自体は面白そうですね二重構造でよくできています What's the title? タイトルを教えてくれれば俺も借りてみますよ、yeah. ええこの事件が片付いたらぜひ OK we'll watch that together then <clears throat> anyway, back to serious. We were talking long enough that we've now almost finished the investigation. We arrive on the third and final floor, where we can catch a glimpse of the sky through holes in the crumbling roof. There. That's a new sprite. Push it. That could be seen as a good or bad thing, yeah. Depending on your viewpoint. Senpai's voice sounds a little more cheerful than I did before. She's probably relaxed a little now that she's completed her investigation and concluded that there's nothing dangerous here. Ah. What is this choice? Should go back now? Want to go back? Can. Um, I'll let chat pick, obviously, but what, what are you, Shiki, what are you talking about? This is post such, such a, this is such a weird choice. Hold on. Should, want, can. I don't... What? I mean, I guess if I had to pick... I can't type them from your thing? That's the point. That's the funny part. I guess, technically, the... Best choice for more CL... Is number three? Because you're thinking, oh, I can go back. But we're not going to because we're still with CL Senpai. Right? So. Hmm. Ooh. There's some fighting going on. Hold on. Yeah, I guess. If we want to be with CL Senpai more, we pick three. This is such a weird choice. Oh, God! I gotta flip a coin? Well, I have it ready, but. I haven't flipped a coin in a while. No, shove, I got a coin flip. I'll set this one out. Fair enough. You could have broke the tie, but alright. Alright, chat. It's been a while, but for those who don't know how this works, if there's a tie in the voting, we flip a coin. And no one's allowed to be mad about the choice or the thing that happened. So, if it is heads, we will pick number two. I want to go back. If it's tails, we'll pick number three. I can go back now. Alright. No ifs. No buts. No fighting over it. We we'll flip the coin. We we'll see what happens. If you don't get what you want. It's not my problem. You let it be a 50-50. One, two, three. Alright. Stop being dry, you bastard. I need to get a new drink now. Alright. Let's see here. Winner is. Oh, it's Tails. Oh, would you look at that. We will pick number three once I come back with a drink. Because I'm out. I need to get more. So, enjoy this nice scenery, I guess. Yeah, I won't be gone long, alright? So don't put your panties in a bunch. I won't be gone long.
Alright, I return. What? Uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, so let's pick number three then. We can go back now that the matter is settled. Yeah, we could head back, but I don't think we want it just yet. And it does give me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, not that I. Uh, not a choice would have changed this, I think, so. あそこまでぶっ飛んでるともう驚きしかないんです。一方、肺病院は立派な都市階段ですから。ああ、短すぎて、こっちの方が怖いです。ほら。うん。なるほど。そういうことなら夜についてきてもらえばよかったですね。当
famous hole in the wall? Well. Wow. We'll do that next time. Because I do actually am pretty, getting pretty tired. And I'm going to watch a bit of anime before I go to bed. Best OC incoming. Uh, how long before it comes in? I can go a little longer then. No, I can. I, if it's that good, I can go a little longer. Does it show up like right after this next scene? I can go a little longer. I I can say uh, I I can go a little. Hold on, no no no. If it's good OC, if there's good music coming, I can go a little longer. Okay. If there's good music coming, I'll go a little longer. At least to hear the music. <clears throat> it's a curry shop. Of course it is. I'll say it one more time. Oh, I like this song already. All right, go. I need the name of this one. Stat. This is going to the playlist. All right, this is what we'll save. I got to hear the song now. It's got to be moving. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me hear you. Hold on. Oh, this is good. Storm of Spice, I think it's called. Thank you. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I didn't even turn off that much. I liked it a lot. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. After so long, a week. Uh, we're finally yeah, that was the name of the song. Yes, we're finally back at it again. So thank you for the uh, song to go. We're finally back on that train again. Feeling good. Got pretty far. Did some cool stuff. Did some fun stuff. Laughed. Smiled. All these good things. All the good things you could possibly want. From Tsukihime. And then... I think, think this was the perfect... Like... Segment to come back into. Because this, this, this was so much fun. All that was so much fun. I think what used to be at first to be my least favorite sections in arc, the arc route, the school the school bits, has now become my favorite parts in the CL route. The school sections are so much fun. Is that a nerd emoji? Probably. But the school bits are like the best. One more time, stop being dry, you got it. Thank you. It feels it gives me that warm feeling in my chest, and I like I like that feeling a lot. Dang, I like that feeling, that warm feeling it's giving me. Which it, it's gonna break my heart when we uh go into um well what Tsukihime usually does. We go into we go from the most wholesome thing you've experienced to the most fucked up shit you've ever read, seen, and heard. <sighs> I, I I wish this felt like a little short stream. It this is about the usual length actually. Surprisingly, this was about the usual length. Sure, last week game stream was three hours. Well, actually, that's what sounded two hours and forty. But I mean, I guess when you're like just chilling and vibing. Two hours fly by and you don't even think about it. It just felt short. I mean, that's fair. Tomorrow, I hope, won't feel as sh short. But that depends on what happens. 
for me, this felt like a long time. When I, when we like had just barely started, I thought we were already an hour in, but I checked and it's like, oh, we're only 50 minutes in. Oh, jeez. I felt like we went for an hour. Or like an hour 20, Jesus. So this is different for everyone. Oh yeah, this was a fun segment. It was just so heartwarming. And made me happy, made me smile. And I know it's not gonna continue. I know, I know, I know it's coming. I know something big's coming. I know something nice is going to fuck with me somehow again. It's coming. I know it is. And I, do I don't want it, man. I just want the simple life to continue. But it won't, because we have to hunt vampires and shit. Uh. Uh. Anyway, that's been all for this stream. So I hope you all enjoyed and had fun. I did. So, without further ado, thank everyone for coming by. I'm surprised so many came by in the first place. Thank you for the constant, uh, stop being dry, Kumi. Keep me hydrated, thank you. See so you're, uh, doing your usual laugh. And, uh, I don't know if you're still in her crypt, but thank you so much for the tier 1. Two hours ago, still. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Uh, yeah. Have a good day, evening, or night. Wherever you are in the whole wide world. And I'll see all of you. The same time, same place, tomorrow. For um, more Tsukihime. The last of this week. And um, yeah. Until then. Bye bye.